Recently I've been trying out this Tram 1174 5 8 wave 450 to 470 megahertz antenna with the claimed uh, gain of 3 dBd which is typical of 5 8 wave length antennas. I've been using this for about a week now and I'd just like to go over some of the basics of it. Alright here I have it lined up with the Browning. This is a BR450. I've been using this for a few months. It's a 5 8 over 5 weights antenna collinear and I have it tuned for GMRS. It's also okay at the higher end of the ham 70 centimeter band. Lengthwise, you got 13, I think it's 13 and three quarters inches uncut. I have not, I have not trimmed it. And that's compared to the 30, I believe it's about 34 inches. It's a little bit dirty, you can clean it. A 34 inch whip on the collinear. Uh, it's less than half the height of it. And less likely to hit stuff which i like so i'm gonna put it on real quick i just have a mag mount right now almost always have mag mounts but i like the nmo style it's easy to if you're fickle like me and you want to change your mind about what antenna you want to use it's real easy to swap them out i want to give you an idea of the swr out of the box of this thing for a gmrs I'm using the Midland 275 mobile and we're on channel 22 let's see what it does real quick here testing one two one two as you can see it was about 1.2 to 1 on 22 uh, that's repeater channel 2 so that was uh, broadcasting at the, uh, what, the 467 uh, frequency so let's change it real quick and go up to let's go up to channel one. That should be in 462s. Testing one, two, one, two, three. And a 1.47. It's a little bit high. Let's go to 15, so what 15 looks like. Testing one, two, 1 1.5. And let's go to simplex 22. Testing one, two, one, two, one point four nine. Do repeater fifteen. Testing one, two, three. All right. So repeaters. It looks like it's about one point two to one, and one point five on simplex. So it looks like I will do some trimming on it to try to get a lower SWR on the simplex because that's what I mostly use. And mounted, as you can see, it's very low profile. It's thir the whole thing from the base is 13 inches. And when I trim it, I might lose a quarter inch or so, make it even a little sh bit shorter. And there's a ham dual bander next to it. You can see how much more uh, clearance it needs getting around trees and stuff. Drive throughs, that's going to hit some things. Performance wise, I haven't really missed much of a beat. Um, I know range is subjective, uh, when you're, when, especially when you're mobile and moving, but I, I still hear the same repeaters as I have before. I have not made any simplex contacts in the past week, so I can't talk about that. But I think I'm going to go with this antenna for a while. The intention for this antenna was to be able to put on my wife's van and get it in the garage without having to move it. If it doesn't work I may have to drop down to a quarter wave antenna I chose the tram because it is one of the shortest 5 8 uh, on the market that I saw and it's, you know of course it's one of the more budget friendly ones it's the cost was I believe was $20 uh, I'll put a link to it uh, it may be up a little bit more now um, prices are always going up nowadays it seems anyway I'll hopefully I'll follow up with the uh, a tuning of the antenna see how much I got to cut off of it to get it nice and flat at 462 territory anyway thanks for watching and have a great day